set the tune for all to remember. You rewrite history, the greatest pretenders. You rewrite history, the greatest pretenders. <laughs> Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another episode of Black Mirror Season 5 Episode 1, y'all. We are back. I love doing Black Mirror shows because each episode is a different episode and I could stretch it out as long as humanly possible. I believe a new uh, season of Black Mirror should be coming out very soon and I'm almost caught up to it being currently here. So let's get into Season 5, Episode 1, as I said. And already I can see a picture of who it is. It's called Striking Vipers. I actually know this actor, love this actor. He's um in Marvel. Da, 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 da. Let's get right into this. You wanna see some for reaction links will be down below. While you're down there, please like, share, and comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Black Mirror and find out exactly what this show has got to give. By yourself? No. So far? A girl like you. Ooh. Okay. Corny. We get a buck and a vodka sidecar. They know each other. What makes you think I want a vodka sidecar? People do that all the time. It's kind of weird. Right on time. Hey, Carl. It's my roommates I was telling you about. You know, the ones who hooked up just so they can get the biggest room in the apartment. Role play act, the stranger thing, the bar. Calm down, girl. What are you doing getting to the club in the place? Yeah, girl, he's playing video games. Men. <laughs> Is it daytime? You've been lanced for 20 bouts straight. Oh, come no, on. you not bitch. Where we going? Uh, Panda Mountain? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Right. Why that shit down? Baby. So immature. Eleven years later. Hey boy. <laughs> hey, 38. Ooh, 40 is a coming. Yeah. <laughs> Soon be dead. Simon's in the bikes. Hi. Maxwell, we don't kick. No kicking. That his ex? No. So you like motorcycles or just bikes? <laughs> No, that's his, his lady. Hey, Theo. Oh, I have oh, not seen you girl. in how long? Me and Daisy, no, we're not, we're not together anymore. Oh, so, broke up like a, like a year ago. No clue. <laughs> we're still friends, better friends, actually. Mm -hmm. It's all very adult. Danny's out back. Okay. Like infected or something? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Come on, get in there, man. Happy birthday. Oh wow, when'd you start using gift bags? The store did that. Striking vipers. X. I was in the store. I saw it and uh Oh man. <laughs> it says here you need one of those VR add-ons. I don't have one of those. It's your birthday. Just 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 take the damn thing. That's not true. Tyler. Good to see at least one of you still has a gym membership. Oh, really? <laughs> Since my knee went, I haven't been able to work out, all right? I'm not using that as an excuse. Wax your butt. You nasty. Yeah, it's gleaming like an eight ball. You know where I'm going after I leave you? Where? Get your tank wax, too. Adiella. She's she pretty. back in vocals. But for the school band, how old is it? You want to share that with the class? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read the damn Macaroon book again before he let me put out the line. Macaroon found the shoe. And put it in a tree. Mm -hmm. Did That's it rhyme? Good. Why do they seem disconnected, though? You should have told me that Carl and Daisy broke up. <sighs> I always said that those two were not good news. Mm. Together. Him and the girl on his phone, is that serious? How long have you two known each other? You don't actually get to talk at these things, though, do you? Y'all should hang out more. Yeah, well, 
you know. We should have him over for dinner. To make you chili. Why does she want to see him so bad? You gotta put the knives in, sharp edge down. I know. Take out the robin look on this guy. How are you? Shut him, look it up. He used to be a ball player, right? The app says that we need to do it within an hour. <laughs> it's peak fertility. Mm -hmm. This age so much, I don't know if I can. Mm. He seems so disconnected from her. Love you, baby. <laughs> How much you to play Striking Vipers? Oh, Carl. Maybe not tonight. I was, uh... Oh, come on, what are you playing? Something goddamn boring is what I'm guessing. Okay, what do I do? All right, uh, they showed me in the store. You put the game chip in. Done. Now grab the disc doohickey and stick it upside the head. Now hold down the sync button on the controller. Nothing's happening. Lance! Damn. All right, Lance, let's oh, go. Oh, Lord. Okay. What? Are they the oh. players? No. Said you gotta brace yourself. <laughs> Call? Your chest is impressive. Check this shit out. How's the knee? Man, I think Gary can do so much shit he can do out there. <laughs> Round one, fight! I'm gonna fuck you up! Jesus Christ. Don't worry, it resets. No harm done. See? Nice block! No, 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 no. How do I get out of here? Exit game! They didn't call each other afterwards. <laughs> Hello. Where did he come from? Oh, I pray it's us all for he has the glory. Good night, little man. Good night. Take care of daddy for me, okay? Not sure when I'll be back. Depends on traffic, I guess. Any side, we made a slide. He slid down happily. Last time we played, I was drunk, man. From the party. Me too. Be good to have a Serious game, you know? Serious game. About to kick your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah? Hello? Uh, can you hear me now? You're, you're the driver, right? Guess that's us gay now. <laughs> Don't feel like a gay thing. <laughs> uh, what is it? Jesus. Exit gay. Uh, you're supposed to be in bed. I'm thirsty. He has like no connection to her. Hey, mom. Hey there, little man. Looks like you can use one of these. Mm -hmm. I figured my period was late when I hoped it was. And it came on while I was out, so next time. Mm -hmm. Please rinse dishes before program start. Excuse me.
How does it feel? I mean, like, fear? Crazy. I mean, it's different. One's a guitar solo, the other is a whole fucking orchestra. I think you run that analogy to the ground. <laughs> fucking. Should I not? I was just gonna ask if I could buy you a drink. Sorry. God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hey. You know the thing about you? Sometimes you just sort of go away. You go inside, leave me on the outside. That's what it seems like. We haven't done it in weeks. I've been tired. Mm -hmm. I'll get pregnant if you don't fuck me, Dan. Jeez. <laughs> but is something going on? Something going on. That's what I said. Nothing is going on. <laughs> They're all set up. You don't touch me anymore. Theo. You don't even kiss me. Do you <clears throat> want me anymore? I'll always want you. No, you know what I mean. I know that I'm not what I was. My body is not what it was since Tyler. Boring. I get that. Family life. But I'm loyal. I'm loyal to our family. I'm loyal to you. You think I haven't made sacrifices? I haven't denied things for myself. The guy at the bar early tried to hit on me half of me wanted to just for some excitement, some fucking passion. Being in a partnership, you shut the door on all that shit. It's what a commitment is. Oh God, if something's going on, I just, I just want to know. Nothing is going on. He slept with his friend at a video game. One chocolate bomb. You worrying about your work again? I think so. Mind if I finish myself off? Oh, um, excuse me. I'll, sure. I'll take this. Can't do it anymore. It's not fair to Theo. But, but, but it's not cheating. First Sunday of each month. No. Ah. Just not with that car. It has to stop. I'm sorry. Daddy. Goodbye. Seven months later. Now I gotta get past you. You ready? Go. Oh, she's pregnant. Macaroo found that shoe again, huh? And put it in a tree. Happy birthday. Oh. Sorry, it's not it's much. Birthday I couldn't again. get out. That smells good. <laughs> it's sort of red meat caveman food you like. I invited Carl over. Surprise. And what did he say? He said he was looking forward to it. Carl's here. <laughs> Sit down. Let's have some fun. Bang on the ceiling when we played the music. <laughs> I mean, he had a point though, because we were loud. Mm. I'll take it. <laughs> I had to go to work the next day. More. <laughs> Hennessy and uh, dessert is as crazy as it gets now. <clears throat> How the fuck did you come here? She asked me to come. What do you want me to say? An excuse. Such as what? Such as anything. What am I like, your ex wife or something? Look, it's too strange, okay? I tell you, it was strange. <laughs> Nothing matches it. Try fucking the computer control characters. It's bullshit. Shut up. It's like a rubber dog. I've gone in there as God players, girl players, multiplayer gang bangs, you name it. And I still couldn't get you out of my mind. I can't help you. Best of yours, too. Fucking transcendent, you know it was. Think about her. Roxy. It's time you know you want to one last time. Child doing. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you have no respect. Is that your uh, Tierra Masu? Uh huh, you know it. Happy birthday, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Guys can be so awkward. Good night. Oh, 
doesn't, it seems like he even really likes him because he wants one thing. We're not gonna fight. We're gonna kiss. Yeah, fireworks. Then, okay, bang. It's an us thing. So let's just fucking kiss. Okay. You want me to start? I don't know. <laughs> what the <heck? laughs> you ready? Just fucking kiss me, man. Not a damn thing. Not me neither. So that settles it. You know it's different in the game, man. No! You gotta get that shit out of your head and get rid of it like hey, that! Don't push me, man. Oh, you a big man? Hey, what you gonna don't do? Push me. What you gonna do? Get you! Hello! My husband's here. Uh, Danny. Daniel. I knew y'all were mad at each other over dinner. So what were you fighting about? Holy fuck! Talk to me! The baby! Did you guys make great baby? Ours look like a mile of bad road. As long as the sea we love you. Do you want that back in the morning? And the sun I possess. But I would confess As heart. long as the beat can repeat till then I'm ready Well well So I have to say this episode kind of gave me, I don't want to talk very quickly because the battery, of course, is going to die. But this episode kind of gave me, like, kind of like real life where, especially in the black community and being gay, it's like so, like, DL and so low key. And the battle that you have to fight inside internally, um, especially in the African American community where it's looked, being homosexual is being looked so down, uh, uh, frowned upon. Um, it kind of gave me these vibes, like these two African American men have feelings towards each other. I think one was just more sexual, but at the end it kind of seemed like he liked him. Um, well, he said he loved him. Um, and they're doing anything that they could to fall in love or do things with each other, but mask it behind this video game. And it was very interesting to watch. I was I was gagging. I, and for some odd reason, it kind of reminded me of what somebody I know who went to jail and <laughs> somebody I know who went to jail and was in prison for a while. Um, and he did, he's straight or he has a girlfriend or wife, fiance, whatever she is. Um, but he did stuff with men and he told me. And he's like, yeah, well in jail, like it's different. Like I'm not gay, but like I did things and so and so. And like, I don't know why that like made me think about this game. Um, it's like, well, it's a video game. Like we're not really gay. Like it's just the video game. But like, if you're not even feeling your wife no more and you're doing your own thing and like you getting up at 12 midnight to go click into a, a video game to sleep with your man or your friend. It's just super weird. And by the way, I didn't realize it was the same actor in the beginning. Carl was the same actor in the beginning because with the dreads. 
it didn't click with me. Um, and it was good to see the guy from Captain America, he really does have a really big booty, which is amazing. Now, I'm kind of curious on what, <laughs> side note, I'm kind of curious what this show, the meeting of the show means, and I'm gonna read it from here. The first episode of season five, Black Mirror, titled Striking Vipers, explores how our imagined realities can affect our real lives. The episode follows best friends, Danny and Carl, as they play a fighting game called Striking Vipers against each other as characters with different genders and sexualities. The episode explores themes such as pleasure, violence, role-playing, infidelity, love, and friendship. It also raises questions about gender flu flu fluidity, fluidity and sexuality, such as whether Danny and Carl are gay and if the relationship is infidelity, which is pretty much kind of what I said a little bit. Um, this episode's creators, Charles or whatever, has this episode in different ways. It's not a personal because they're avatars, but it is intensely personal because they're best friends. It's not cheating because nothing's actually happening, but it's cheating because it's impacting on both on, of their lives. It's not homosexuality, but about gender gender fluidity. I have to say that slowly, because I'm like, I don't know why I can't pronounce that. Um, so, gender fluidity. I don't really know much about what gender fluidity is. Can we look that up? Let me look that up. I was about to ask Alexa, but that one's gonna be annoying. Gender fluidity. See, even people in the LGBT community might not know what all this means. Um, gender fluidity is non-fixed gender identity that can change over time or depending on a situation. It can refer to a change in a person's gender expression, how they look or behave, identity or both. Gender fluidity is different from sexual, sexual fluidity, which refers to a person's preference for a romantic partner. Okay, interesting. Um, so it's deep, y'all. I really did enjoy this. At the ending of this, you got to see that, like, the woman who met the guy at the bar, she put those little things on. It seems like around the same time, around possibly his birthday, they could go put these thingamajiggies on and they both venture off and do their own thing. Um, so that's pretty interesting. I'm kind of curious if Carl went in as a man and then had that guy going in, like, what would happen? Like, how would they feel? Uh, regardless, I did like this episode. I think I would rate it an eight. In the beginning, I was kind of like, what's going on here? By the middle of it, I was really in debt with it. And by the ending, I was like, okay, that was a pretty cool episode. So I think an eight for a rating would be perfect for this. Please comment down below what you guys thought about this episode. Was it deep for you? Like, it was for me. It hit those notes. It knocked those accordions. I loved it. And plus, Anthony McAfee, I think that's his name, is an amazing actor. Love him. And can't wait to see his new movie of Captain America when it does come out. Thank you guys so much for being here. While you're here, please check out all my other reactions. I'll see you guys next time with more reactions. Nobody trying to figure out if they could or evil. I'm fighting the crime, steady your lives, one at a time. I'm killing the rhymes, I do it for the people. I'm Peter Parker running through the six with a bag full of